Good morning, PHS. Today is Thursday, April 27th, 2017. I'm Devin Gritton. And I'm Matt Gerard. back for a second time anchoring. PTV starts right now. We're getting things kicked off with our SRT meetings. We have Spanish Club meeting in the cafeteria, Seed Club in room 218, and FTA in room 216. After school, we will be having a robotics meeting in room 141 at 3.30. PHS, it's time to check out what's on the good old lunch menu. Today, we will be having a favorite beef tacos with cheese, salsa, corn, and the ever popular fruit and vegetable bar. If you haven't yet bought your tickets for prom, the prices have jumped. Yeah, that's right, PHS, $45. You may purchase tickets during your lunch hour. Remember, if you want to bring a guest outside of PHS, arrangements need to be made in the front office. All guests must be under 21 years of age and provide a photo ID at the night of prom. Ladies, all applications are still being accepted for the 2017 Miss Blueberry Festival Queen Pageant. The pageant will be held on June 17, 2017 at Argus High School. Applications can be picked up in the guidance office or you can go to blueberryfestival.org and print one. Deadlines for the applications to be turned in into the Marshall County Blueberry Festival office is May 12, 2017. If you have any questions, please contact the Blueberry office at 574-936-5020. Again, that's 574-936-5020. Sophomores and juniors, the PHS guidance department is looking for mentors for the incoming freshman class. Students of Plymouth High School will be hosting a freshman orientation day July 26th for incoming freshmen. We're looking for upperclassmen who can help show the ropes and help them make a successful transition to PHS. Mentor training will be held from 9 to 12 on Tuesday, July 25th for the orientation day on Wednesday, July 26th from 8.30 to 1. Attendance at training is mandatory to participate in the orientation day. This can count towards volunteer hours or community service. You'll be working with coaches and staff to make sure that you guys have practices that are excused. Students, for, there is a link to sign up. Check your email or visit the PHS Twitter or Facebook account. You can always visit the guidance webpage and follow the link there as well. The Tri Kappa Art Show is almost here. Submissions for the art show must be submitted to either Miss Calling or Miss Church this Friday, April 28th. Students can submit up to three artworks into the show from any of their art classes. Categories include black and white drawing, color drawing, paintings, mixed media, digital design, sculpture, and ceramics. Artwork from both semesters will be accepted. Cash prizes are awarded to the winners from our gracious sponsors at the Tri Kappa fraternity. Please see Ms. Calling or Ms. Church for more information. Before we switch gears to PTV Sports, PTV Juan Garcia joins us for another edition of his movie review segment. This week, Juan is fulfilling a request and is reviewing a somewhat of a retro movie called Scott Pilgrim vs. the World. Let's see what he has to say about this one. Hello, this is Juan Garcia with your weekly movie review, and this week I'm reviewing Scott Pilgrim vs. the World. Okay, this movie was made in 2010 and it was directed by Edgar Wright. I never saw any Edgar Wright movie going into Scott Pilgrim vs. the World, so I was really curious about the movie. Scott Pilgrim vs. the World stars are Michael Cera, Mary Elizabeth Winstead, and Brie Larson. The best part about this movie was Elizabeth Winstead as Ramona Flowers. The writing for her character was really well written and her relationship with Michael Cera was really good too. She plays by far the best character in this movie. I love the fantasy slash action in this movie. It worked very well for this type of movie, especially the action scenes. The other thing that I like about this movie was the fast paced editing. The editing that they do here was pretty cool and it makes the movie non-stop and engages you to watch the movie without taking your eyes off of it. So the things that I like about this movie was some of the villains that Michael Sarah's character had to face in the movie, particularly the, the main one played by Jason Schwartzman. Nothing else was bad about this movie, so that being said, I'll give Scott Pilgrim vs. the World an 8 out of 10. 
Thanks, Juan, for giving us the scoop. If you have a movie that you would like Juan to review, hit him up on Twitter at jgarcia2418x. Summer school sign-up is still going on this week. The cost for each session is $20, and you'll need to pay the fee when you register in order to reserve your spot. If you qualify for free and reduced lunch, you qualify to take summer school classes for free. Get more specific information about summer school by stopping by the front office and visit Patty Downs. As you may have heard, PTV's Devin Gritton has come up with a segment that truly captures our classmates' talents. Let's check her first installment of Finish That Song. Okay, this is my new segment of Finish That Song. We're going to crash the choir room. Let's go! Brandon! Oh, baby, baby, how was I supposed? Da, 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 da. Close! Let's go play! Don't stop believing! Hold on to the feeling! We're soaring! What? We're soaring! <laughs> There's not a star in the LGBT carry! Thanks, Devin. That truly was quite creative and funny and oddly unique. Oh, and a special shout out to Alex Walter for being our videographer on that one. Let's take a look at what's on our famous PTB Sports Rundown for tonight. At 5, there will be a JV softball game at CMA. Then at 5.30, the girls' tennis team will head to Elkhart Memorial, and the PHS baseball team will hit the road for a Logan sport. Good luck, Pilgrims. Yesterday's senior basketball player Nick Felke signed his letter intent to play at DePauw University. Nick started every game for the Pilgrims over his four years here, which is a total of 95 games. We wish you the best of luck, Nick, in your future endeavors down in Greencastle. The PHS Baseball Program is holding their annual Tom's Tasty Taters and Walleye Fish Sandwich Fundraiser this Saturday, April 29th. If you'd like to purchase tickets, please see any member of the baseball team or email Coach Wolf at rwolf at plymouth.k12.in. You know the rest or Kevin Garrity at kgarrity at plymouth.k12.in, you get it. The tickets are $7 each, and all the proceeds raised will be used to purchase new equipment and materials for the baseball program. Notre Dame's 2017 spring football season came to an end on Saturday afternoon with their annual blue and gold game. The Fighting Irish completed their whopping 15th practice of the spring, and Notre Dame supporters got their first glimpse of Mike Elko's defense the new offensive line, and the starting quarterback, Brandon Wimbush. Highlights of the signature game were captured. Our very own Josie Coons captured the final hours of Notre Dame football. Alongside, Anna Height worked with her magic with her photography and has captured this amazing package for you. Enjoy. <laughs> Thank you, Josie, for putting together that recap. Well, guys, it's that time of the show again. PTV trivia time. But before we get into it, let's recap last week's question. The question was, what fictional city is home to Batman? The answer was Gotham City. Mrs. Winthroom cashed in on the three bags of donuts. Thank you, Alex Walter, for capturing all the action for us. And thank you to the 25 classroom teachers who submitted an answer. All, by the way, were correct. 
It's time for your favorite portion of the show, PTV Trivia Time. This week, our question is, how many states border the Gulf of Mexico? If you know the answer, email phsmarketing at plymouth.k12.in.us. Again, the question is, how many states border the Gulf of Mexico? Email phsmarketing at plymouth.k12.in.us. Right now, if you know the answer, we will randomly select the winner for our tasty prize. Good luck to all the classrooms. Well, that's a wrap of the show this week. Good luck on trivia, everyone. Oh, and if you want a guest anchor next week, hit up our teacher, Judy Likowski, via email. See you next week, PHS. I'm Devin Gritton.